In October 2016, the internet was almost brought to a screeching halt. Sites like Twitter, Netflix, Amazon, and more knocked down thanks to a sophisticated cyber attack on the American tech firm Dyne. At the time, there were fears it could be the opening shots in a new cyber war. The question now, was it the work of another country? I don't have any information to share about uh, who may be responsible for uh, that malicious activity. The culprit was a massive cyber weapon known as the Mirai botnet. It's a hacking tool more powerful than the world had ever seen. But it wasn't the brainchild of a rogue nation like North Korea, Iran, or Russia. It was three American guys in their early 20s who wrote the original code in an attempt to get an edge in the game Minecraft. With no rules to follow, this adventure, it's up to you. It's a hugely popular video game with 55 million players each month. There's no real objective. Users create whole worlds with virtual blocks, and providing the servers and security for those digital realities has become big business, in some cases worth tens of thousands of dollars a month. This additional culture that's been created around it of those who would defend these websites against people whose only desire is to bring them down in order to wipe out competition. Adam Levin is the chairman of Cyber Scout and author of the book Swiped. This was about money and bragging rights. The three Minecraft musketeers all pleaded guilty to cyber crimes in December. One of them, Paraz Ja, is from New Jersey and mounted similar attacks on school servers while he was a student at Rutgers. It was all about how do we become the muscle? How do we basically go out there and either keep websites up if they pay us protection money? or bring them down if they don't. The way they did it is through something called a botnet, basically taking control of unsecured smart home devices like cameras and TVs and using them to create something of a robot army that can overwhelm websites and knock down servers. It was huge. The ability that it had to simultaneously recruit hundreds of thousands of improperly secured Internet of Things devices made it something no one had ever really seen before. That October 2016 Mirai attack on Dyne, the one that knocked out East Coast Internet and temporarily crippled companies like Netflix and Twitter, wasn't launched by the three men who pled guilty, but by creating Mirai, they did let the proverbial tiger out of the cage. In fact, over a six-month period, Mirai was reportedly responsible for more than 15,000 different attacks. We're talking about real dollars in a virtual world. And... We're only going to see more of this, not less of this. In a statement, lawyers for New Jersey's Paraz Jha told Fox 5 in part, Paraz Jha is a brilliant young man whose intellect and technical skills far exceeded his emotional maturity. He has pled to charges here in the District of New Jersey and in the District of Alaska as the first step in his evolution into adulthood and responsibility. The makers of Minecraft declined to comment for this story. Still with the cyber war replacing the Cold War and digital gamers being able to take down real world companies, the Mirai botnet is a powerful reminder that the things people do online can have major consequences when they log off. Joe Tui, Fox 5 News.